Hi everybody, so in this P5.js tutorial we're going to switch gears from some of the other projects we've been doing and go back to working with audio files in our sketches. The last project you were working on for the computer science project uh, had you making your own samples and loading those into P5 sketches. So we're going to be again working with samples, audio files. In this case I've already made a template with some sounds loaded into it. So I'll give you the link to that and you can just use that link on your own if you want to incorporate your own sounds you can do that as well just see the video I made about loading sounds into p5.js but what you can do is you'll click it it'll take you to this link called loop sample template you will then go and just duplicate that and it'll make a copy for you and put your name on it and then you can work with it without having to upload these sounds all right um, so what we are going to be doing uh, sort of in conjunction with what uh, this week's Sonic Pi lesson is, which is live loops. We're going to learn to loop the samples or audio files that we have in our sketches and then look at a couple methods that allow us to see both the duration, how long the sample actually is, and the current time at any point while it's playing, and then we can access those numbers and make them do some things for some animation. All right. So again, I have my files here. I'm going to create audio file here. I'm going to call it uh, Bell to start out with. Uh, I guess in honor of Bell Academy, but also for the doorbell sound, although I am going to switch them up eventually. And actually, yeah, I'll just do that for now. Okay, so I don't need to assign it any uh, value. This is going to store my audio object. Uh, now, since we are working with audio files again, we need to load those audio files into our sketch before we can do anything with them. So to do that, we're going to use function preload, open close parentheses, open close curly brackets. I'm then going to take the sample that I have, or the, the variable I have, which I'm calling bell, and then I'm going to load capital S sound, open close parentheses, and in those parentheses, I'm going to put the exact name of the file as it reads right here. So in quotes, door bell dot mp3 so make sure you're taking account for any capital letters any spaces or anything like that that might occur in there all right so now i have my doorbell sound okay so now it's loaded into this variable called bell so now with bell i can access the methods and properties of this object so dot play i start my sketch and it rings the bell like so and i'm going to let it play all the way out because like i said we are going to be working a little bit with the the length of the sample the duration and current time now with dot play it just plays it once but what i can do now is instead of dot play i'm going to use dot loop so when i play it it's going to play the sample the sample is going to go all the way through and then it, when it gets to the end of the sample it's going to play it again and it'll just be on a constant loop so this is just going to constantly play this doorbell sound Okay, so there the sound goes, it's going to cut off, and there it goes again, and there it goes again. Alright, so there you have how to loop a sample in uh, P5.js. Okay, now that in and of itself, especially this doorbell, is not going to be all that interesting. So now I want to take a look at how we can get some information about this sample. What I want to find out is how long the sample is in total and then the current time of that sample at any given moment while it's playing. So I'm going to show you here. This is the libraries so in the P5.js website. I go to libraries here and it, these are all different libraries I can use in P5. I'm going to look at the sound library. Okay, and then we're looking at sound files. So just to show you sort of where this information could be located. So there's these two right here called duration. So returns the duration of the sound file so I can access the how long that sound file is. And then the current time, which will tell me exactly where the sound is located. So what that would be is I can go into setup and I'm just going to do a console.log real quick. You don't have to do this. This is just showing you how this would work. So I'm going to do bell dot duration and then I need open close parentheses there so when I press it it's gonna put a number up on the console it's gonna tell me how long this bell sample is okay so there I can see it is five seconds point seven 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 eight 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 etc okay 
So I know that. Now what I'm going to do is in draw, which is constantly going to update, I'm also going to do a console.log. And I'm going to do bell.current time. Open, close, parentheses. Okay. So it's going to give me this number right when it starts. But then in the console, it's just going to keep updating. And you're going to see numbers between 0 and 5.778, et cetera, uh, as the sample goes. And when it gets at, right at this number, is you'll see it. And you'll hear where it starts over again. So here we go. OK, so you hear this is the time ticking away on the sample. We're getting close. And there it starts again. It goes back to zero. And there you have it. OK. So now what I can do, I can turn the bell, those numbers into variables, and then I can access them in there. So what I'm just going to do real quick is I'm going to change the name of this sample from uh, amen or from doorbell to amen. Now, the name of my variable doesn't matter. Even though it's called bell and I don't have the doorbell sound, I could call this anything. I could call it sound, or I could call it you know, just V or L, or I could call it amen. Um, and maybe just for the sake of this, I'm going to make these changes. You don't have to do this, but just so it looks consistent here. So anywhere I have bell, and you can now, again, just sort of reinforce the idea that all these uh, changes everything with bell now has to change and change it to amen just to be consistent here so now what i have here this is an amen sample now this is a break beat which means it is a drum beat that was taken out of a song that has a section where all the the uh instruments drop out and it's just the drums basically a break in the song where just the drums play which is where we get the term break beat it's a very famous break beat it's from a song called amen brother by a group called the winstons uh, and this is also a sample that's available in Sonic. Hi, hey Rosie. Um, so let me play this for you. Okay, so here you see the number, it went up to 6.975. The reason is because this sample has a different length than the doorbell sample. So that's why it didn't go to that five number we saw with the doorbell. Okay, so it's a little bit longer of a sample. Now you also notice the way the sample is set up is that it loops and it just sounds like a consistent drum beat playing over and over and over and over again, uh, which is more interesting as far as some a sample that we're going to loop. Okay, instead of just a doorbell playing over and over again, we actually have the sample that is built to loop over and over and over again. All right, so that is going to be a little more interesting. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can now access some of the, the numbers here and turn them into interesting numbers for visuals in our sketch.